triumphantly on raid on the refinery. Ah, yes. Imminently, if the game loads in. Brilliant. Okay, first off, on the Flamberg, we have a Gatling uh, mortar side with a rear mine launcher. On the Flamberg, we have a flamer front, carronade side, and a mortar rear. On the Spirit of Julie, it's a Gatling mortar front pyramidian with a side Gatling um, Artemis. On the Lib GTK piloted by Luosi, we have Gat Mortar front with a side as a nearly crash, Carronade and Flare. On the Grand piloted by Felon, we have a Gat Mortar on the front with a side Artemis Flare. And on the last ship, the blue side of things, the Solus Ordem piloted by Hillerton, we have a Hate. He's Artemis on the front with Artemis Flare on the side. Yes, the superior speed of those squids has got them to this point very quickly, uh, and they have managed to secure it now. However, in this dogfight, I don't think the Flambergs are going to come out very well. The, uh, the Crimson Rhino Rider is very good at getting those arcs for those Gap Mortar Pyramidians on as the Gron comes in on the Flamberg. But the Flamberg going up, bounce, bounce, bump into the Spirit of Julie, but he passes by. The Gron raising up high with that Hydro, turning around to try and get in range of the Flamberg. Flamberg 2, I'm going to call it Flamberg 2. Very <laughs> effective use of altitude change there, distracting the Gron, getting it disoriented, something oh, fierce. Red team though is almost com. They're they're sitting on the point still. How yeah. are they sitting on? Oh, I guess they're sitting on the point still. <laughs> very impressive indeed. Um, that's a very wide capture cone. It seems. Uh, Grond going up. Yeah, here we go. The uh, Rhino Riders um going full on on the Spirit of Julie. That less maneuverable ship getting it out of the equation. And now the two Flambergs, I feel it would behoove the Flambergs to start heading towards point B fairly soon. The Solus Awesome is already making a break for it. Now, one major point of note about the next capture point to be active B, it is in friendly blue territory. Mm -hmm. It's one of those points where it will almost always go to the blue team because they can simply body rush it. It is right next to their spawn. It is practically inside their spawn. Oh, Flamberg taking a big bounce off that oil, Derek. And now is being Gatling rammed down. Oh, Flamberg. Oh, Flamberg. Oh, Flamberg there goes Flamberg 2. two. Oh, Flamberg 2. We, we barely knew thee. And now Flamberg 1 is in a bit of a bit of a sticky situation here. Kerosening all around. Those mortar shots were... I you, you, I thought those would have hit, but apparently they were just barely off the mark. Although now charging against the Solus Ordem in the Lib GTK, I don't think there's a lot like lot of life left in the Flamberg. The Flamberg no, one. there isn't, and he's gonna he's gonna be having to fight this situation two on one, which is pretty difficult for a squid. I mean, the best the Flamberg one can do is get in there and block and block for as long as possible. But he's not even gonna be able to do that because he got gap mortared by the Lib GTK. And now the Gron coming in. Oh, being rear-ended by the Spirit of Julie. The Spirit of Julie is a brave one indeed. Gron descending, however, escaping the arcs of the Spirit of Julie. I think it would, it would be in the red team's benefit if they simply said, you know what, we can't take blue. We can't take this uh, B point. It's just, it is not in our in our realm of possibility. Let's go see. Let's get it locked down. Let's be ready when right. it comes back up. However, however, if the uh, red team does nothing to hold the Crimson Rider, Rhino Riders at this point, then the Crimson Rhino Riders will just move towards C at the 72nd mark. That's true. And it'll just be a free on free. That, that's a very good point. They need The red team... <laughs> These guys are in a little bit of a tough spot with what I, they're doing. The Merc teams is just wow. With the build, with the build, the Crimson Rhino Riders have got. They they are happy. They are happy to just face them in a straight fight. Um, 
uh, these squids are going to have a real problem facing the Crimson Rhino Riders in a straight fight. The squids are going to have to kind of, you know, sort of use their maneuverability and have to distract, harass, um, uh, slow them down, uh, and use their speed to cap the next point while, while they're unaware. Um, at this point, though, I think that the, me the momentum of the Crimson Rhino Riders has gotten underway now. It's in full swing, and it's going to be very difficult to derail them. This is It's a tough situation right now. Uh, we're in the last game. We talked about how it can behoove a team. I keep... I can not <laughs> stop using that word. Uh, it's, it's in benefit for a team to not not necessarily always kill a ship we saw that a couple times with how the gents handled cake and, and their folks uh in this situation all the crimson rhino riders are built to do is slaughter as quickly as physically possible that is their mo for this for this matchup they are going to kill off the mercs <laughs> as fast as they can Yes, they are. Um, they're just happy to keep on moving forward and focus fire, and that's what they're doing now. I think they're going to kill the Flamberg 1 as they start moving towards point C, and then they'll probably arrive at point C just in time to free on 1 the Spirit of Julie. This is this is not a good situation for the Mercs right now. They have, they've been pushed around quite a bit so far, even as they were able to grab that first point pretty quickly they use their speed to their distinct advantage in that one they need to get to harassing they need to get to balloon pop and they need to get to burning mm. if they're not harassing a ship they're going to be killed off quickly they do have a disabled squid if that disabled squid could just go between these three ships just disabling them and letting the other two ships clean up then um they might have more of a chance but r right now i mean they're just they're flailing about a little bit and now the uh, Spirit of Julie is hiding here, waiting to ambush. And oh, he's he's blocking the point. He's bloody blocking the point. Look at that. He's under the Great. capture cone. Very clever. But the, the, the Crimson Rhino Riders, they haven't spotted the Spirit of Julie and might be momentarily confused here. And I say momentarily because they'll, they'll work it out pretty soon. Uh, I, we were just seeing in chat that apparently voice chat, voice communications for all teams is unavailable right oh, now. So they're going boy. based completely off uh, text chat. Either text chat, or perhaps these teams have some sort of, um, uh, some kind of a VOIP server. It could be a lot of clans do. I know Bully Boys and Blow Waters do. Um, I'm sure a lot of other teams do as well. But in any event here, Flamberg getting focused down major fire and a ram by the soulless awesome oh these 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 squids just getting pinballed around the spirit of julius decides to reveal itself and they're no longer blocking the point in this situation you have to sit underneath the point to get the cap on it to block it uh flamberge is the the flamberge one is able to block now oh my goodness Oh, the Lich he just got taken out by the spirit of julie yes very impressive by the spirit of julie and now you've actually managed to kill a Crimson Rider Rider ship. Pretty impressive. That that might derail their momentum at least a bit. And to the credit of these mercenaries, they've managed to block this point off. Uh, I absolutely agree. The the Lib GTK, piloted by Luosi, is pretty much the flagship of the Crimson Rhino Riders team. If that goes down or if that gets oh. derailed, usually they have a little bit of disorientation. Oh, the, the bullets! Moments. The bullets managed to finally finish off the spirit of julie will the flamberg one be able to get back in time to block the point it's oh i don't think it will i i think i oh i think it's too late nope. and it takes a bounce takes a bounce the flamberg two takes a bounce on its way to the point just killing any hope of managing to get there in time uh now the spirit of julie is just going to have to get on top of point d while these flambergs one and two Try and slow down the Grond and the Solus Autumn. Flamberg 2 is that disabled squid you were mentioning earlier. All mem I just checked this a few moments ago. All members on that ship have greased ammunition. They are well equipped to just get in and cause chaos. But that means they need to get in safely in the first place. And so far, oh, they have not one. been able to do Flamberg that. Flamberg 1, what are you doing? God, he's just charging head on at them. Uh, almost getting killed for his trouble. Hopefully he can come in behind. Now the Flamberg, he's flaming the Solus Autumn, but there's no carronade to follow it up. Not really slowing the Solus Autumn down that much. In addition to the Solus Autumn, 
The Solo Sortum has chem spray all over the place. There's mm -hmm. that Carinade, finally. Flamberg 2, doing a pretty good job of distracting the Solo Sortum. Spinner of Julie takes out the other ship coming in. Oh, the very impressive. But LibGTK is coming in behind. This is going to be mm -hmm. a dangerous situation for the Spirit of Julie. Oh, yes. If the LibGTK can kill the Spirit of Julie here, they'll even up the score. There we go. Now it's a two on two. And I feel these squids are at a disadvantage here. Um, oh, but the Solus Autumn taking heavy damage. The armor's down. The Flamberg needs to come in and help focus to finish it off. But that is not forthcoming here. Oh, a few the mortars, though. They were focusing on the Lib GTK and Solus Autumn at the same time. They have mm. that Gat Fire on the Lib GTK. I think it's a mistake. They need to focus entirely on the Solus Autumn, get those mortar shots on it as soon as that hull breaks, and take them out. Flamberg. Flamberg going past the Solar Sultan though. Flamberg coming towards the Lib GTK as the Lib GTK gets a great ram on Flamberg too, finishing it off. Flamberg trying to rear end the Lib GTK. It's going to take a little I while. Now, I see now what the Flambergs are trying to do. They mm. were focusing entirely on what's going to make it so we can control this point. Solar Sultan was disabled so badly at the time that they said, no, we just need to focus in on Lib GTK along with our partner. They could go down here. Lib Oof. GTK taking fire. But Spirit Julie comes in heroically at the last moment. Of course, this is much closer to Red Spawn than it is to Blue Spawn. And that is definitely helping them here. Solus Autumn. Uh, now two on one versus Spirit Julie and the Flamberg and goes down. This is going to allow um, the Mercenary team to cap this point, And it's probably going to kind of even things up here. Uh, remind me really quick, who... Each side is, fa is uh, fighting for. Mercs are fighting for uh, who? Well, Mercs are, well, technically fighting for Yesha, but, well, I mean, basically fighting for themselves at this point. Um, and um, the the Crimson Rhino Riders, as always, um, are fighting for Anglia. And, I mean, the Crimson Rhino Riders have been definitely the M MVPs of Anglia here throughout this whole tournament as i said just unbeaten the gc gents have performed well as well but the crimson riders rhino riders have just been unstoppable gotcha okay uh, also people are reporting we have slow-mo going on oh oh dear i don't see this this, this match has been beset with problems with the voice and the lag and the <laughs> slow-mo apparently but i can't see any uh i can't see any slow well uh, not really but i i'm willing to believe that um they are experiencing it though oh, tough situation dear. for the teams teams uh, beset by technical issues uh from the server side of things and all sides flamberg too able to get in on the next point. They're going to mm -hmm. be able to block it as long as they sit in there, but LibGTK oh, is quickly Flamberg, flushing them out. Oh, does Flamberg have a mine launcher? Let me have a look. No, it's got a mortar. God, that would have been a perfect place to mine the LibGTK. Oh, that would have been a happy mortar spot. Oh, that would have been funny. Oh, well. Had I been on that squid, I would have taken Lochnagar mine to just <laughs> that specific situation. Yeah, uh, just in case that that specific situation happened. Because that would make it all worth it. That yeah, single it would, it would, yeah. mine hit. Oh, that would be hilarious. And now the Flamberg getting pursued by the Lib GTK. The Lib GTK with a ram to finish it off. The Lib GTK has moonshine and he's also got buff engineers to buff his engines. So those those pyramidians can be as fast as those squids uh, in the right situation, no doubt about it. Spirit of Julie tried to get a ram on the Solar Sword and did not go in its favor, though. Spirit of Julie losing hull very quickly. Ron coming in behind it. Flamberg doing its best, but not good enough. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Just the, um, the mercenary team eliminated just as the point ticks over. And now free ships are capping it. This is not there a good situation go. for for the uh, Merc side of things. No, Very they bad. they derailed they derailed the Crimson Rhino Riders' momentum, but the train is back on the tracks once more. They're all they're all together. Permahulls almost full. Um, they're going to be difficult to to get off their uh, get off their track once again. Flamberg two has come in. 
getting under the pipelines there, but it's not going to be, do it's not doing much at this point. It in looks time. like he's just trying to distract them as the Flamberg 1 and the Spirit of Julie head towards point A. This is still, this is still anyone's game here. The, um, uh, this point, point uh, E, will get the Crimson Rhino Riders close to victory, but it will not secure victory for them. Now the Flamberg just leading, oh, the Grund and the Solar Sortum on a merry chase, but it may be about, this chase may be about to end, unless the Flamberg can pull off something pretty special here. And Flamberg, I believe he just, did he pop Hydro there? I can't tell. Um, it oh, looked no. like he did. Yeah, but mm, he didn't have much left in the tank. And now Flamberg, uh, Flamberg, to its credit, staying alive. Oh, no, Flamberg 1 coming in. Flamberg 1. Maybe this is what they're trying to do, is just strategically meat grind to kind of, what the hell? Spirit of Julie moving off point A. Maybe he wants to block that pass. Hmm, interesting. I think they're just using the squids just to tactically meat grind here and just distract them. Uh, Spirit of Julie, I think, really should just be sitting on that point right now. As soon as that takes over, well, they have plenty of time. They have 85 seconds to move back on the point, should they so choose. But they should be on the point at the moment it takes over. They need to try and get that cap point because at the point that the, the mercs cap it, They'll be able to just body rush with those extremely fast squids and make sure someone is always on that point, blocking any kind of turn on it. Now the spirit of Julie waiting at that pass as the... Um... Let me have a look here. The Fla no, yep, the Flamberg 2 moves in to secure the point as the spirit of Julie is waiting at the pass. Flamberg 1 is going to come back in as well. Spirit of Julie is going to have a tough time defending against the Grond and the LibGTK, though. The Grond takes a bounce, though. That's interesting. Looks like the Grond is going to go above oh, the, the wow. situation here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. The Grond really going above and beyond here. Well, for a bit, anyway. So he really to hit the height ceiling. And now the Spirit of Julie firing down on the Grond. Oh, dear. And um, Spirit of Julie just gets minced. Can the Flamberg heroically hold up? Crimson Rhino Riders and stop them from, from capping this next point. It's going to be a tall order. This is a very bad situation right now for the Mercs. They had the opportunity to get uh, this point capped, but the sheer firepower that the Crimson Rhino Riders are bringing and the severe kill power, especially with all those Gatmores and with that focused firepower they have available to them, it's too much. It's too much for the Mercs to deal with. The uh, tactical meat grinding um, strategy just didn't work there. The um, Crimson Rider Riders just moved together at the right time. And now Flamberg is the only thing standing between the mercenaries and defeat right now. It's only a matter of time though before um, the jig is up and the Flamberg gets spotted and focus fired down. The Spirit of Julie coming in, getting focus fired three on one almost certainly going to go down here boom flamberg is rising up flamberg 2 is rising up not really dealing with the solus ordem though trying to take some shots flamers going out chem spray though is going to prevent a lot of that damage solus ordem backing up trying to get a good angle on the flamberg the flamberg 2 rather gonna bump a little bit there we go Oh, Flamberg turning to the side, just into the, the Gatling fire of the Grond and the LibGTK, and whoop, up it goes. Just manages to f uh, avoid those finishing mortar shots, trying to kerosene high, that gets taken down. The Flamberg 2 also getting the same treatment here. Now, I get, I get what the Mercs are trying to do here, and it's a great job. They're, they were really blocking the point something fierce there. Doing a great job of making sure someone was sitting on the point the entire time. It is going to cap over to the Mercs, though. This uh, the Crimson Rhino up, Riders. Uh, Crimson Rhino Riders. Yeah. I'm sorry. The Crimson Rhino Riders. Uh, they, they've taken the point. This is going to set them up for the victory over on the last point here. Mm, yeah, it's all going to be about B now. Um, the Mercenaries have to get to B. They have to block B. Um, if the uh, Crimson Rhino Riders cap B even for a bit, then it's all over here. 
as we've said previously too, B is one of the very easy points for for the blue team to take. It's in blue team home territory. Yes, indeed, the spirit of Julie being fired upon by mortars here now. Oh, Spirit Gene taking a bounce, just compounding its problems. And boom. And Flamberg won valiantly fighting here. The tiger showing its claws, fighting wildly, even in this final battle, which it is fast. It is fast uh, being defeated in. It's not going to be a shut up by any stretch of the imagination. The. Uh... Merc team is going to get about 300 points for the Yeshin, the Yeshin side of things, but it's going to be a victory for for the Crimson Rhino Riders, mm, more indeed. than likely. Victory for Crimson Rhino Riders and for Anglia. Well, hold the phone here. Um, <laughs> the uh, Flamberg 2 has managed to get under this point. If they can just hide down there, in that, that he has been spotted, so it's not likely he's going to be able to hide for long. But he's going to have to pull off something. He has to try something desperate here. This is this is a little bit desperate. The Flamberg, the Flamberg 2, just sitting there, not really being too incredibly mobile. That's a risk. You don't want to do that as a squid. Oh, Flamberg's still barely alive. The GTK, Gron, focus firing on the Flamberg, and the Flamberg does not, oh, doesn't look like he's going to be able to escape. Or does he? Nope, nope, he's dead. Uh, okay, well, there we have it, the point now being capped by the Grond and the Lib GTK. Teams complaining furiously about the lag and the slow-mo. I didn't actually, I didn't see any slow-mo. Was there a little bit of slow-mo slow -mo going on? I, well, according to the teams, there was. Um, but um, we I didn't remember see them. We were, we were having uh, our Wednesday match this week, and slow-mo got so bad in the first game that speed was literally going at a quarter of how fast it should have been going. Literally, we were counting the seconds down after the surrender, and it was one second for every four seconds. It was down to a quarter speed. Mm. Well, these mercenaries here, um, I mean, perhaps one could say, being punished for their treacherous ways in this defeat, as the spirit of Julie comes in once again to get focused down by the Crimson Rhino Riders. And yes, it looks like out of this conflict, not only will uh, Anglia have won a victory for their pride, not only will they have won a victory for science and technology of the old world, they will also have uh, gained the oil refinery as they capture it from the mercenaries. Congratulations uh, uh, mm. to, the, to the blue team. The, the Crimson Rhino Riders get the win in this one, and we will see what the point matchup is when we are out of here. Yes, indeed, the Crimson Rhino Riders, the heroes of the Yeshin Anglian War, pretty much winning it for um, the Anglian Republic. And we shall see in the finale next week, the Crimson Rhino Riders go head to head with the Merry